Lovely day everyone! I am your friend, your tropa, kachikahan, kadaldalan, kakwentuhan. I am Shara. Okay, so as you guys know, I'm a podcaster as well. Um, I've been podcasting for two years na since I started last March of 2021. So, even before I became a podcaster or a podcast host, of course, I started listening to podcasts muna. Short chika lang how I started listening to podcasts. So, back then, I had a lot going on in my life. Hoy! <laughs> in the, pero on a serious note, um, I was bothered almost all the time by unwanted thoughts. Okay, so during those times, I used to make art. And syempre, when you're making art, hindi naman 100% of the time nakafocus ka sa lines or colors. Eh, diba? Sometimes your mind wanders off. And it's like a perfect setup for those unwanted thoughts to plague my mind. Actually, accidentally ko lang na-discover yung podcasts. Kasi ba diba, kapag hindi mo masyadong ginagamit yung voice search sa phone mo, meron siyang mga suggested search ganon. Parang, try saying, post a tweet or open podcasts, ganon. So, ako bilang ututo, tinry ko yun. And then, nung sinabi ko yung open podcast, nag-open yung Google Podcast. And I remember, ang suggested podcasts pa noon is puro mga English podcasts. Although, meron naman ng mga existing na Tagalog podcast. Pero, syempre, kapag... Alam mo yun, bagong account, ganyan. So, yung mga isasuggest sa'yo mostly is English. So, natatandaan ko nun, yung unang podcast na napakinggan ko is Lore. Ano siya, about history or origin ng mga folklores. And I must say, it was a big help. Natanggal niya yung art block ko kasi syempre, I dreaded making art ever since I've had those bad thoughts. Ayun, kumbaga, it helped me take my mind off of that. So, ayun, ikaw, are you listening to podcasts already? Kung oo, share your favorite podcasts sa comment section below. If hindi pa, here are the reasons why you should. You will learn a lot just by listening to podcasts. And daming mga educational podcasts out there na pwede mong ma-enjoy. May be about politics, history, science. I swear, like 90% of the time, you can find a podcast covering the topic that you want to learn about. Second, I consider it a fun way to keep up with current events. Kasi di ba yung iba, nabubor sila to watch the news, read the newspaper. Meron pa ba nagbabasa ng newspaper ngayon? So, why not just listen to podcasts? Diba? Ano ba? Um, it can improve your listening and comprehension skills. I used to listen to a podcast called 5-Minute Italian just to brush up yung mga natutunan ko back in high school sa Italian class namin. So, ayun, it's closely related dun sa una kong nabanggit kanina na podcasts can be educational. Okay? And lastly, it can be a great source of inspiration and motivation. Ang daming podcasts na nakaka-motivate and inspire, you'll usually find them under the self-help category. Sometimes you'll be hearing stories similar to yours and you'll be seeing it in a different point of view. So very, very, very helpful. Kaya naman, without further ado, here are my six podcast recommendations. Let's go! In specific order to ha, pero syempre, huy, <laughs> syempre, magsisimula tayo sa the one and only Cripsilog. I can't tell you how much I love this podcast. As in, sa lahat ng podcast na mapag-uusapan natin today, ito yung pinaka, pinaka, pinaka ikinggan ko talaga. No joke. Okay, so this podcast is about horror, true crime, um, conspiracy theories, mystery stories, real life experiences, ganun. So, malawak yung nasasakop nilang topic, pero all of those are creepy. Ganun. So, like, Aswang, serial killers, budol, at kung ano-ano pa. So, if you're into those kinds of topics, you might want to check them out. And if you're looking for a platform to share your creepy stories as well, you'll surely love Creepsilog kasi tumatanggap sila ng mga story submissions na pinipeature nila sa slide into our DMs episode nila. And B, wala silang pinipiling story. Lahat ng story na sinasubmit sa kanila, binabasa nila. Kahit magka-backlog, backlog sila, lahat yan mapipicture. So, ayun, that is Creepsilog and eto yung mga sample episodes nila. 
So next is gonna be trying hard with Laika Maravilla. This podcast is one of the podcasts that I was talking about earlier na motivational slash inspirational. So this one is hosted by Coach Laika, of course, and she talks about dreams and goals. And also she explains why being called a trying hard is not as bad as we thought. Kasi diba, may bad connotation sa word or sa phrase na trying hard. Usually, when we say it, it's meant to be an insult. Ngayon, Coach Laika presents it in a different POV. She also shares her real-life experiences, her personal experiences as examples. So, for me, it's nice listening to a podcast na you'll feel connected with the host, if that makes sense. So, ayun, go check her out. Just like dun sa unang, uh, unang podcast na pinag-usapan natin, I'll be flashing here yung ibang mga episodes niya. Some of my favorites are Why Smart People Don't Try Hard and What If I Try Hard and Fail. Next podcast would be from Coach Laika again. Yes, she's hosting another podcast. I believe mas nauna pa to kaysa dun sa Trying Hard. Correct me if I'm wrong. But ayun, this one is called Get Tired. If you're already in your adulting phase, if you're, say for example, you're looking for a job, you're terrified of a job interviews, ano bang ginagawa doon, anong isasagot mo, girl, this podcast is for you. Dito sa podcast na to, Coach Laika helps you land your dream job. So as you can see here, meron siya mga separate episodes for different interview questions like um, introduce yourself, what is your strength and weakness, um, why did you leave your previous job. And what's good about this is hindi kanya bibigyan ng script lang na o oh, kapag ganito yung tinanong sa'yo, ganito yung sasabihin mo. Hindi. Um, she will not tell you what the answer is. Instead, she will tell you how to answer those questions. What this does is when you're already in that position, when someone is already interviewing you, um, your answers will sound more authentic kasi you're not following a script. Instead, um, ginagamit mo yung sarili mong knowledge and experience. So I do think that this is gonna be a big help to anyone who's trying to look for a job. And not just that, also for the people na nag-iisip na lumipat ng career or mag-quit na sa 9 to 5 jobs nila to start a business, there are episodes for that too. Okay, sunod naman, we'll have a TPC or Typical Pinoy Crap Podcast. So, ito yung, ano, yung podcast na chill lang. Alam mo yun, para ka lang nakikipagkwentuhan. Minsan, para ka nakikinig sa lasing. <laughs> Ewan mong ako lang. Pero, ayan, ang dami kong natutunan kay TPC. Though, syempre, hindi naman 100% align yung perspective namin. So, like, meron siya mga opinions na agree ako, merong hindi, and it's fine. Ganun naman talaga eh, di ba? Especially sa mga more controversial topics. You don't have to agree to social media people all the time. So, ayun, I also love the way he thinks. That's why I keep listening to this podcast. At saka, alam mo, minsan, it's nice listening to people who have different beliefs from you. It's nice kapag hindi ka laging nasa ideological chamber mo lang. All in all, I'll definitely recommend this podcast. I love it. I learned a lot. And ikaw, if you're interested in random podcast topics, definitely listen to TPC. Super lawak ng sakop ng mga topics na kinocover niya. May about politics, body dysmorphia, relationships, fashion, religion. <laughs> diba? Pag sinabi kong malawak, malawak talaga. So, ayun. Um, sample episodes, ayan. Ayan, okay. The next two podcasts will be something I haven't listened to yet. <laughs> na recommend hindi mo pala napapakinggan. And na pero these podcasts, I randomly saw them on Spotify and immediately sabi ko, I want to listen to them. Because I know these hosts and you probably know them as well. So starting off with Camp Confidence, hosted by Miss Ayn Bernos. Diba? Super kilala na natin siya. I always see her on my FYP. And every time na makikita ko siya, parang she's very smart, very independent. Ganun. Parang real definition ng strong independent woman. Kaya nakita ko na meron siyang podcast. Sabi ko, papakinggan ko yun. She's with Miss Risa Lana Sebastian. And in this podcast, they talk about the behind the scenes of people's success. 
we cover a lot of topics too like body image adulthood and they um they have conversations with inspiring guests as well so i on they emphasize that all of us are a work in progress so kahit na yung pinaka successful na taong kilala mo they are a work in progress Nagkakaroon sila ng guests who talk about uh, the realities and challenges behind uh, their success. Next, we'll be talking nonsense, as in nonsense with Nana. Hindi ko pa rin ito napapakinggan. I've just seen clips of their videos online. So, she is with her co-host, Mr. Thomas Falconite. I hope I pronounced that right. She just calls him Tom kasi. Pero ayun, another podcast na random ang topic. So, I love watching Nana too. So, kagaya nung sa Camp Confidence, nung nakita ko na meron siyang podcast, nakalagay na kaagad siya sa lists ng podcast na pakikinggan ko. What's nice is yung episodes nila, lahat may video. So, ayun, um, lately ko lang nalaman na pwede na palang mag-upload ng vodcasts sa Spotify. So, yung ibang mga podcast na nabanggit ko kanina, yung iba sa kanila, meron na silang mga video sa mga recent episodes nila. So, ayun, ang cute lang. If you guys wanna check the podcasts I recommended, search na lang. <laughs> Hindi ko na ilalagay sa description box, ha? Isa-isahin ko po ang kakatamad kaya yun. Pero, ayun, isearch na lang. May kita nyo yan kaagad. Sikat naman sila. <laughs> Nasa Spotify yan sila lahat, ha? Pero yung iba, available sa ibang podcast streaming platforms like uh, Google Podcasts or iTunes. Pero yung Cripsilog at saka yung Talking Nonsense, um, Spotify exclusive sila, okay? So, you can only find them on Spotify. Ayun lang, happy listening. What are your favorite podcasts? Comment nyo sa baba. Um, if you have time, listen to my podcasts as well. Chill Chica. Di na natin pahahabain. Once again, I am your friend, your tropa, kachikahan, kadaldalan, kakwentuhan. I am Shara.